Hey guys, Tap Dog here with Little Alchemist Helper. Today I wanted to do a top 10 countdown of the best crushing blow cards in the game. Alright, so to determine this, what I did was I pulled out all the data for every crushing blow card that exists in the game's file. And then I looked at the total attack of the card, plus the total defense of the card, and I came up with that total score that I use for combos. However, um, I didn't just go off of what the total score was because sometimes it makes more sense, especially with, with some of these cards. Um, I'm doing a whole series on this, so I'll do top 10 countdown on um, all the final forms, but I wanted to start with Crushing Blow today. Um, and so with Crushing Blow, um, using the total score doesn't always make sense, but it does help you fig figure out who the, the top tier cards are. But sometimes um, some of the cards that might not have as high of a total score still uh, could be a top card or a top contender. Um, so anywho, what I'm going to do is go down this list. I'll, I'll tell you the rank for each card, put it up on the screen, and then explain why it's in the top 10, and then how you can get this card. Now I do have to warn you, a couple of these cards um, are kind of, I don't want to say that you can't get them, but it's extremely hard to get. And then all the rest of them, the majority of them, are cards you can get from packs. So if there's a card you like, a card that sounds like it'd be good for you, make sure you pay attention to how you obtain it. And uh, hopefully the next time it's available to, to purchase or to, to get from the game, um, you'll be able to get that. Alright, with that being said, we'll start with number 10, Ella. Ella is a boss card. She has 15 attack and 13 defense. She um, levels up all the way to have 31 attack and 29 defense, or a total score of 60. She and our number 9 are the only two cards in this pack, or in this, this whole thing I'm going to talk about, that have that 60 total score. So that's why they're on this list. Um, but because it's kind of more balanced there with the 31 attack, 29 defense, um, it's not very useful in terms of a crushing blow. As you might remember, crushing blows um, will get rid of the defense and just do a straight 31 damage to the opponent. So what you're looking for in a crushing blow is a card that has a high attack um, and an okay defense. In this case, it has an okay attack and an okay defense. Um, so that's why it ranks number 10 on our list. Um, now, how do you get the Ella card? Well, she is from the monster event. Um, so during the monster event that you get towards the very beginning of the game, you can get it from there. Also, after that you've beaten the monster event, um, and you, you have to use the keys, and that's how you get her there. Um, but if you don't get her there, then the following week you have the ability to purchase the monster pack, which includes an Ella card in there. Um, but if you didn't get her there, the final way you could have gotten her was in a pack called the Adversary Pack. Now that just came out randomly, I think in 2014, 2015. I don't think it's been back in the game since. So that's why this one's kind of hard to get. You can't really get it if you've already beaten the events. But um, I wanted to include it in here because it is one of the only two total score of 60s that is available. Coming in at number 9 is going to be Leopold, another boss. Um, he has 17 attack, 11 defense. Um, when you level him all the way up, he has 33 attack and 27 defense, or that 60 total score. Um, so he ranks slightly better than Ella does because he has two extra attack points. Now he has two less defense, but in this case it really doesn't matter. When you have a defense as high as 27, you're, you're, you're already pretty good at that point. But um, that's why he ranks slightly above. And much like Ella, you get him from his event. So in this case, Leopold comes from the Cyclone event. And then the following week, he'd be in the Cyclone pack after you finish the event. And then the other pack that he was in is very similar to the Adversary pack that Ella was in. And that's the Nemesis pack. Another one of those packs that just came out for a short limited time in 2014 or 2015. And it hasn't come out again. So both of those guys... They've made the list because of their score, but they're at the, the end of this top 10 list because you can't really get them anymore once you finish the events. All right, coming in in number eight is going to be Hot Pepper. Hot Pepper has 19 attack and one defense. When it's fully leveled up, that comes out to 35 attack, 17 defense, or a total score of 52. 
Um, now, the reason why this is on the, the um, top 10 list, even though it has kind of a low defense at 17, is because it has such a high attack at 35. That's one of the highest attacks that you can find from a crushing blow card. There are a couple 36s, and we'll talk about those in a little while. But this one, again, is a little bit downgraded because it um, only has that 35, or that 17 defense, I should say. Uh, but how do you get this hot pepper? Well, this is actually a card that was part of the events as well. This was from the Copper Chef event and also from the Copper Chef pack. But different than Ella and Leopold, you can actually still get this card today. And you can get it from the Heroics if you get a diamond pack. This card is included in there. Now, it's really hard to get. Not the best card um, in terms of RNG to be able to get right away. So that's why it's kind of on the higher end of this top 10 list. But it is a nice high, um, high attack card that could be useful if you have it. Coming in at number 7 is going to be Virus. 19 attack, 2 defense. Or when it's fully leveled up, it's going to have 35 attack and 18 defense. Very similar to Hot Pepper, just one extra defense to it. And very similar to Hot Pepper in the sense that it's also from a pack. This one is from the Science Fair event and the Science Fair pack. And just like uh, the previous one, you can also get this one from the Heroics Diamond Final Form packs. Um, so both of those are um, kind of in those top, these higher 7 and 8 ranks because of that. But um, otherwise, they'd be a little bit easier to get and I'd recommend them. Coming in at number six is going to be White Dwarf. It has 18 attack and four defense, um, or a 3420 total when you when you level it all the way up. And I like this one better than Virus because um, its total score is 54, whereas Virus only had a 53 total score. So even though it has one less attack, it has two extra defense, and I can see that being just a little bit more practical in terms of use in your um, heroics or your arena deck. Um, so how do you get this card? Well, the White Dwarf card comes in the Tiny Pack. So that's a pack that has, I think, Miniature as its gold combo card, but that's um, where you can find the White Dwarf card. All right, number five. Number five is going to be Unstoppable Force. It has 20 attack, 2 defense when you get it, and when you level it all the way up, it has 36 attack, 18 defense. This is one of only three 36 attack point crushing blow cards. Unfortunately, this is the one that has the least amount of defense, so that's why it's ranked lower than the other ones. Um, and you can get Unstoppable Force in the Muscle Pack, which includes the Strength card. Um, so that's how you get that one, and that was number five. All right, coming in at number four is going to be the Fat King, which starts with 18 and 6, levels up to 34, 22, um, I really like this one because it has 56 total score. That's one of the higher total scores. There are quite a few that have 57 as well, but um, 56 is kind of the second highest amount of total scores outside of those two 60s, which I mentioned before. Um, so the Fat King um, comes in the Scheming Pack, and uh, I believe that's the um, might be the Royal Games Pack with the Royal Games Combo Card, because I think the Fat King is... I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's that's what I remember. <laughs> All right, coming in at number three. Number three is going to be Firebird Force. It has 20 attack, three defense. Uh, so that's a 3619 when it's fully leveled up. And uh, this is a, in reference to Phoenix from the X Men, and it comes in the Mutant Pack, which makes sense. Uh, I like this card because. It's, um, there's quite a few 3619s in the game. This is the only 3619 that is a crushing blow, though. There is one more that's slightly better than this one, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but I like it overall. All right, coming in in number two, we actually have a five-way tie. That's right, there's five cards that are kind of equally good. Uh, they all have the same attack and defense and total score. And so I'll just kind of go through all these quickly. You have Alient. Um, Brain Warlord, Punchy, Raging Gamer. I guess there's only four. I can't count. <laughs> so there's four cards. They all start with 18 attack, 7 defense, and level up to 34 attack, 23 defense, for a total score of 57. Um, now, three of these cards, Alient, Brain Warlord, and Raging Gamer, all come from packs. Alient is in the Martian pack. 
Brain Warlord in the Animation Pack, and Raging Gamers in the Rage Pack. So all of those are pretty easy to get. Punchy um, comes in multiple locations. Um, so it's a part of the Copper Chef event, which also means it's part of the Copper Chef Pack. Um, but in addition to that, it's also in the Heroics Diamond Pack, which I had mentioned before. But the reason why this one's higher up than the other two is because it's also in the Leftovers Pack. So that means there's plenty of opportunities to get this card, and that's why it's included with the rest of these in the top number two spot. Finally, our number one for the best crushing blow card in the game, at least according to me, is going to be the Attractive Brain. I can't even talk. Attractive Brain. It has 20 attack, 4 defense. When it's fully leveled up, that's going to be 36 attack and 20 defense for a total score of 56. So while it's not the highest total score, we've got all those 57s I just mentioned and then the 260s from earlier, it does have the highest attack versus defense ratio. Um, so I think it's the best one of the bunch. It still has a high enough defense that if you get attacked, you won't have too much damage done to you, but you're going to do 36 damage to your opponent when you use this card. So it's definitely a must use in terms of the, the, the best of the crushing blows. So how do you get an attractive brain? Well, you got to buy the vanity pack, obviously. <laughs> That's where you get the beauty go go gold combo card as well. All right. So I think that's, that's it on my top 10 list. Let me know what you guys think in the, um, comments. Let me know if you like this, if you want me to continue doing it. I think my next one might be critical strike. I'll probably combine absorb and protection or not absorb and protection, curse and protection into one because those ones aren't really as useful as all the rest of these, but I think absorb is a good useful one to do and critical strikes a good one and then crushing blow, which I've just done, but curse and protection aren't as great. So maybe I'll just do the top five for each of those. Um, but yeah, let me, let me get your feedback. I want to know if you guys like this. Um, and I'll also put a link in the description here to a list of all the cards, not just the top 10, so you can see them all. And in that list, I won't rank them in my order. I'll just rank them from total score and then by total attack. Um, I think that's, that's probably the best way to look at that list. Uh, also, it won't have how you obtain them in that list because I had to research all that and I don't want to research that for... Oh gosh, how many cards are here? 140 cards or so? <laughs> I don't have time for that. Uh, all right. Anywho, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Take care. Bye.